Last night I had the absolute pleasure of speaking to Mike S, who is the creator of the Simpsons Tapped Out Topics website, and this video is going to be the edited highlights of the conversations that we had. Uh, while, while, while the interview is playing, I'll, I'll show you his town, have a good look at all the ways he's decorated his buildings and giving you some great ideas of decorating your own, um, so I do hope you enjoy that. Um, the full video, the full interview will be available on, on my channel as well, so do go check that out if you're interested in hearing all of what Mike S had to say. So, let's get interviewing. Greetings everybody and I have got a very very special guest with me today. I am here with Mike from the Simpsons Tapped Out website, uh, TSTO Topics. Uh, greetings Mike, how you doing? Good, how you doing Addy? And in your own words, I mean, how, how this is not like the first website you've been involved with on, on the Simpsons Tapped Out. I mean, in, in your own words, how did this one kind of start up? Well, actually, uh, I was on, on uh, Tips, as most people know. And uh, the day that Tips went, uh, I guess, haywire, all day, and uh, things started to go wrong, I, uh, Mr. Fye had contacted me about, you know, you starting a new site and it was something I had always wanted to do. I mean, most people, you know, who doesn't want their own website? So sure. uh, I, I thought it over and it was, a, it was like an hour and ever situation with, with so much that was going on at tips. So, you know, we just, it, it came out of ashes, so to speak. And, uh, yeah. you know, it was, I just felt, yeah, I had the recognition from tips. So, you know, why not go on my own? Is topics a, a business, like a money making thing, or is it just like a for the fun of it thing? It's it's strictly for the fun of it. I uh, I asked for donations on on the milestones, you know, when we hit a certain amount of hits, and that was just something I got from from Mister T at Tips. Uh, you know, people can donate, but it's not a requirement, and you know, we, everything's pretty much paid for out of my own pocket. When it when we something does cost, I mean, for the most part, you don't need money to run it the wordpress has a lot to offer for you know the free software mm, of course there's yeah. upgrades that we've had to accrue and you know i've used every get for a donation goes towards the upkeep of the site you know we have to upgrade space so we can add more graphics and photos and stuff but now it's just for the fun of it we all do it on our own time uh, aside from our personal lives and jobs and it's just something that we we all like to do and and want to help people I mean, obviously, Simpsons Tapped Out is a, a kind of a city building game. Um, do you play any other kind of city building games, Tropico, Sim City? I mean, did, was that what attracted you to the game in the first place? Actually, uh, I had never played any before I found Tapped Out, and since then, I had played uh, some other mobile games like City Island and and things like that. But what attracted me to this game was the the whole Simpsons. I've been a Simpsons fan my whole life, and yeah. Uh, it was it was just that aspect of you know being able to have something in my game that was from the show and that's the hundred percent what drew me towards it was the Simpsons aspect. Where, where would you like to see the game go next? You know, I mean, uh, you know, we've had we've had the 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 the, the Squidport update, the Krusty Land update. We're currently doing a Halloween. Uh, what, what would you like to see in the future? Uh, I don't know. I would just I would like to see. The, the the expansions that we received uh added to more i think the the squid port was great but it's like uh it, you know it's, it's like a it's not existing anymore you know we have the buildings they generate income but there's there's been no new storylines yeah. there's the, we got a, a a new decoration and that's the only addition to it since then and you know i would just take the two that we have crusty land and squid port and just go wild with them add add to them and make them just as enjoying as as this town is when you're designing in your city do you have like a a process like so, so say you've got a brand new building for halloween what's your what's your thinking when you're decorating that and putting that in your city well right now my first thought is where am i going to put it um <laughs> that's that's the first thought i have for anything new right now because i'm i'm full i i like to decorate i like to to make it look look like a real town you know i have visualized it in my head and i try my best with what's available and uh i try to find room for it and i can't just you know throw it in anywhere because i guess the ocd in me you know it, it, it screams to me that it's out of place i have to make it blend well with what what's around it and you know i can't just stick it anywhere and 
and I, it doesn't matter if there's a, an event that's about to end. I need to take time out and decorate it properly. That's just how I do things. And when you say decorate it properly, like if you were gonna, if you were going to give just a few tips to people about what makes a well decorated building as opposed to a non well decorated building, what kinds of things might you suggest? Well, I said you know for say like right now I have my game open. I'm looking at the gym, uh, the all night gym. And I, I think of what a gym in my town looks like. Like there's, you know, obviously there's decent landscaping with flowers and bushes. There's usually a bench and a payphone. You know, I, I try to make visualize the last building in reality that I've seen and how how it was decorated. And mm. you know, it's it. You know, obviously there's parking spaces and little street lamps and, but I try to do the the bushing and the flowers first, and then go around from that. So that it looks appeasing, and then you add in all the practical items, you know. Are there, are there any ever de any decorations that you like? You could, I think, your real life idea is is brilliant. Are, are there any ever any things that you you can see in real life that you that haven't yet made it in the game that you kind of think, oh, if only I had a you know a dot dot dot. Oh yeah, there's a lot. I think I think that, and you know, not to, to backtrack, but now that we're we've reached this point i think that's one thing i would change in the game is the decorations i think they've lacked on the the decorations lately and the new ones are just odd and you know out of place and they're a lot of times they're only good for one you know yeah. i i like you know things like simple things like barbecue grills or picnic tables or swimming pools or, you know something that's practical versus a a, a a bomb shelter or, or. <laughs> you, you mentioned earlier having a uh you know going to ask the other writers for their opinions on the new writers i mean do, does the website like have a hierarchy i mean are you kind of like you know head admin the boss and then you've got like writers and junior writers i mean is there like a little kind of hierarchy amongst you guys well the the, the original agreement was uh i created the site and that all that is is i entered my information to get the site up so i i I tend to speak of myself as like the creator of it, but yeah. the agreement was due to what happened at tips with all of us getting locked out and blocked. Our access was blocked was that we would all be admins equally admins, you know, no one's above anyone else. So the same thing doesn't happen to, to our site that happened to tips. You know, mm -hmm. there was one guy in charge and he, clicked one click of a mouse and locked us all out and you know nothing was ever the same since then so i i try to make it as equal as possible i mean on paper yeah i created the site but i didn't do all, i'm not doing all this alone you know there's six of us and we each chip in our own amount and you know i make sure that we all have our own you know it's, it's all of our sites it's not just mine or or mr Fies or mike it's 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 everybody's it's a group thing and obviously one of the lo lovely attractive things about the sites is the ability to comment and interact with the writers and and each other um but you you have like a moderation of comments thing don't you i mean how, how do you guys decide what comments you, you you let through i mean do you allow criticism of the game criticism of the site i mean what what goes through and what gets stopped Oh, well, we, we let pretty much anything through. I would love to not to moderate, but uh, just from experience, it, it's it just it's not possible right now to keep things in perspective, to to make things respectable. But I mean, we let hell if, if someone has a problem with us, I, you know, I'll let it through and, and, you know, we'll comment on it and, and try to talk it out or, or whatever. But we don't hold much. I mean, there's a few. Uh, links that people try to put up of new hacks we we won't put them through because we're not trying to promote hacks or anything when when the uh level 30 herman came out uh we were getting death threats for the gun control aspect of it oh yeah and, i remember that that went crazy didn't it yeah, uh tony mr t he was getting threats to his family and all he was doing was posting on the content he didn't have any personal insight in into it it was just just relaying what he was getting from the game and and things went crazy for a little bit there and uh you know the moderation is just to make sure ahead of time it, it's i'd rather you know read it and then approve it than have it already released and having to go back and take everything out you know because yeah. some there's trolls and on every site and there's people that come there with the specific intent to 
to be disruptive and disrespectful and you know just it's a game and i don't want our readers coming there and seeing an unmoderated comment about you know just nastiness and and we get it and some it, it amazes me to see but it happens and uh Thank you so much for your time and agreeing to uh, to be interviewed um, tonight. Um, have you got anything you'd like to you know to to say to the viewers, or you know, would you like to recommend your website to them? You know, the the microphone is yours. So is there anything you'd like to say to the viewers? Uh, to the viewers, I just want to say thank you. Without each and every one of you, I would just be you know a normal guy playing a game. But uh, without you, I, I'm able to help people on a daily basis and. Uh, you know, I credit me and my team for that, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your time, um, Mike. And uh, viewers, of course, you, if you're not there already, what are you doing? You've got to go and check out um, the Topics website. That's www.tstotopics.me. Um, go and check it out today. And thank you, Mike, for your time. Thank you very much. Okay. So that is the edited highlights of my interview with Mike S. from The Simpsons Tapped Out Topics. Thank you so much to him for giving up his time. But of course, that was the edited highlights. Um, if you've enjoyed it and you'd like to hear more, we actually chatted for over 40 minutes. Uh, we talked about whether Simpsons um, is overpriced. We talked about premium item recommendations. Uh, we talked about kind of how all the, the, the site started and things like that. Uh, we talked about how big the blog is getting. And I shot a load of quick fire questions in, Adam, like, uh, favorite character, favorite building, favorite Krusty Land ride, um, and loads of stuff like that, and 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 loads, loads more. Um, and if you'd like to see that, do step over to the other video and check out the full unedited version of this interview. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please give it a like, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, go and check out Simpsons Tapped Out Topics. Um, the address is in the description below. Take care. Thanks to Mike, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.